Woodstock District 200 is pleased to offer a new online registration process. We hope our new system will streamline registration, making it easier for our families to complete. You should have received a letter or email detailing the registration process. Each letter contains a unique code, referred to as a SNAP code, for each student you will be registering. Make sure you have your SNAP code ready and then visit the district's registration webpage at www.woodstockschools.org slash registration. The registration page contains links to the registration system, as well as information about fees, forms, busing, and other topics of interest to parents. When you're ready to begin, click on the appropriate link listed under registration login links. You will choose either returning student registration or new student registration. On the sign in page, enter the SNAP code in the box as indicated and click continue. If this is your first time in the system, you'll be prompted to create an account, assigning a password of your choice. It's important to create only one account per household so that the system will be able to save and access your information correctly. Once you have created your account, if for any reason you must stop in the middle of registration, the system will save your information securely and you can easily return later to finish. Enter the date of birth for your student. If you are registering a returning student, the information already on file for that student will be pre-populated in the form. For example, name, address, and phone number. For each field, please read and verify that the information is correct, then make any corrections or additions as needed. When you finish the first section, the Next button at the bottom of the screen will take you to the next section. This process will continue as you complete each section until you've completed all the required information. On the Fees page, you may indicate any additional fees other than the basic registration fee, which will apply to your student, such as music or athletic fees. Complete the electronic signature and date, and use the Review screen to review all the information you have entered. If you have not completed any questions marked as required, the system will prompt you to go back and make those additions. You will not be able to submit your registration until all required fields are complete. If you think you may wish to return to the system again, you can leave at this point and re-enter at a later time to finish. If you are finished, click Payment and Submit. Payment can be made through the registration system using Visa, MasterCard, or Discover Card. If you choose not to make a payment at this time, you'll be provided with alternate instructions for paying at a later date. Once you have completed and submitted your form, you'll be asked whether you wish to register another child. If you wish to do so, you'll need that child's unique SNAP code and will begin the process again. The system will retain shared family information, such as emergency contacts, phone numbers, and other information common to both student accounts. If you have any additional questions or concerns, please contact your school directly or email registration at wcusd200.org.